Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how group 1 metals react with water. You should then be able to explain why the group 1 metals react more rapidly as we move down the group. Remember that group 1 elements are called the alkali metals and they all have one electron in their outer energy level. We've already seen that group 1 metals react rapidly with oxygen to form the metal oxide and we can see the equations for these reactions here. Group 1 metals also react rapidly with chlorine to form the metal chloride, and here are the equations for those reactions. One key fact about group 1 is that the metals get more reactive as we move down the group, and we'll be seeing that again later. So in this video, we're looking at how the group 1 metals react with water. I'm showing you here the reaction between lithium and water. I've added some universal indicator to the water, which is why it's green. As you can see, the lithium reacts rapidly with water. We can see effervescence, or fizzing, telling us that a gas has been produced. The universal indicator has turned purple, telling us that the water is now alkaline. With sodium, we also see a gas being produced and the water turning alkaline. Sodium reacts more rapidly than lithium. With potassium, the reaction is extremely rapid. Again, we can see a gas being produced and the water turning alkaline. So let's take a look at the equation for the reaction between lithium and water. Here it is. We can see that in this reaction we're producing lithium hydroxide and hydrogen. Lithium hydroxide is an alkali, which is why the universal indicator turned purple. Hydrogen is a gas, which is why we saw effervescence. We can write a symbol equation for this reaction, and here it is. We can also write equivalent equations for the reactions between sodium and water and potassium and water, and here they are. As you can see, we've simply changed the symbol for the group 1 element. So as we've already seen, the elements get more reactive as we move down group 1. Let's see why. Remember that group 1 metals lose their outer electron when they react. We can see that with lithium here. When sodium reacts, it loses its outer electron more easily than lithium. And when potassium reacts, it loses its outer electron even more easily. As we move down the group, the outer electron is less attracted to the nucleus and it's easier to lose. That's because there's a greater distance between the positive nucleus and the negative outer electron. Secondly, the outer electron is shielded from the nucleus by the internal energy levels. Both of these factors mean that the outer electron is less attracted to the nucleus as we move down group 1, and therefore it's easier to lose that electron. So as we move down group 1, the elements get more reactive. You will find plenty of questions on the group 1 alkali metals in my revision workbook which you can get by clicking on the link above. Ok, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how group 1 metals react with water. You should then be able to explain why the group 1 metals get more reactive as we move down the group. 